I coded your ideas in Minecraft. And well, uh, let me just show you. The Good Ender says, combat milk. A splash potion of milk that will remove effects from players. <sighs> okay, sure, why not? Oh, cows. Oh! Ah! I <laughs> got it. All right, let's make a little bit of room and cauldron. Oh, Ooh. cauldron. <laughs> and milk. Um, uh, combat milk. <laughs> Hello? No. Ah, nope. 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 <laughs> You're not that strong. Uh, <gasps> okay. <laughs> All right, brewing stand. How convenient. Come on, hurry. <gasps> nice. Bring it on. Oh, ha <laughs> ha. Oh, oh, ha 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 ha. Oh, oh. Uh, combat milk. You love it. You you hate it. <laughs> also, arrow of milk. Okay, everybody says a scoped crossbow. Let's see if we can actually make it work this time. All right, now this one, this one I'm excited about. Hmm, I think this could work. Behold, the new and improved scoped crossbow like you've never seen it before. We've already done a video about the scoped crossbow, but unfortunately we didn't actually have a way to make it work since, you know, the clicking functionality of a crossbow and a spyglass kind of interrupt each other. But oh ho ho, I think we've figured it out. In fact, this might be the best implementation I've seen yet. All right, look at all those targets down there. So the way this works is the normal crossbow, of course, requires the right click functionality to charge it up and of course, shoot. And of course the spyglass is the same way, but if we left click, we can then actually make the two work together. So in this case, you could see, I can now actually charge up and shoot while also using the spyglass, combining the functionality. Now I'll admit the arrows, you know, might not line up perfectly with the crosshairs, but it is still very, very cool because they actually work very nicely together. So close. Ah, so close. No. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. No scope. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad at Minecraft. Jesus Freak One says a new block that can scrape the enchantments from items onto books. That's a really cool idea. Okay, this might be my new favorite block ever. Let me introduce you to the infusion table. How does it work? Well, we are gonna need a couple of things. Whoa, has this ever happened to you? You found a ruined portal and it's got a chest, but unfortunately the chest loot is not that great. Oh, but wait a minute, you found a golden pickaxe with fortune three, but wait a minute, it's a golden pickaxe. Well, luckily for you, <sighs> I hate running. That's where the infusion table comes in. This is a block that allows you to equip a book. Ooh, equip a tool. Oh, and it looks so awesome. And then of course, activate it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay. And it's done with the power of infusion. We have ourselves a four to three enchanted book. But of course, we lost the golden pickaxe in the process. Who cares? All right, so let's take that from the top. So as you can see here, this is the infusion table, a block that I absolutely love. It's created from netherite ingot, amethyst shard, crying obsidian, and of course, paper. So you can imagine this is a pretty expensive block to create, but it is a very valuable one at the same time. All right, I'm just gonna need to do a little bit of enchantment. There we go, feather falling four. Okay, so step one, place a book on top of the block. I absolutely love this alone, just as a way to have a cool little decoration because I mean, come on, that looks amazing. And then of course you can take your items and place them on top and then light it. Oh, there we go. Oh, and wait as the magic devours the tool and takes the power of the enchantment and places it inside of the book. Oh, I love this so much. But of course, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. 
Kid Goku says a new feature. If you shear Jeb Sheep, you get a color changing wool block. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, what's that? What? Oh! Ho ho ho! All right, let's see here. We need to do Jeb. Oh, uh. All right, let's try that again, shall we? Ha ha ha! And. Uh. Oh! <laughs> Whoops. Hey, there we go. Well, let's see if this works. Um, <laughs> Jeb's wool. I mean, I mean, I, I, yeah. <laughs> yes, the Jeb wool is all mine. <laughs> Ah, ah. Help! Help! I can't get out! <laughs> okay, Jeb Wool. You know, honestly, yes. I think it would be really cool to have more animated blocks like this. And I mean, come on! The ultimate dance party! Imagine if your base was made of this. Oh, that would be crazy. Imagine the kind of parties they're having in there. Ace McCrink says, more golden food. Each of them could have different effects when consumed. It's funny you say that, because on Origin Realms, we actually have just that. I know what some of you are thinking. No, this actually isn't sponsored. This is a Minecraft server that myself and a bunch of other really talented people have been creating for a little over a year now. We're adding really unique features into vanilla Minecraft, and you can actually play with no mods. And as you can see here, we have got what's called a planter's box. And I've currently got it growing lettuce. But you can see, we actually have tons of golden crops that do similar things. Now, we don't really have them having special effects, at least not yet, but you can kind of see what this might look like if it were in Minecraft. But I just kind of wanted to take a moment to showcase we do have that, plus a lot of other really really cool things i mean just look at how amazing this place looks okay let's move on but if you do want to play you can do so using the ip on screen now or in the description below toxic says how about a helicopter hat that makes you slow fall because why not <laughs> you know i wouldn't think the wandering trader was so useless if it sold one magical item and i mean that item doesn't have to be anything crazy i mean it could even be something as simple as a helicopter hat <laughs> oh yeah <clears throat> oh. Huh. <laughs> you know, I can honestly say I wish this was in Minecraft. <laughs> this is what's missing. Honestly, the ideas in this video, they they feel like an April Fools Minecraft joke. Um I mean, they oddly all work together in some way. Like, we could scope crossbow. <laughs> which is just ridiculous. While wearing this hat, which is even more ridiculous. Come on, can I get him? Ah, oh, I missed. And then, of course, combat milk. What is this? What? What? I mean, what is this? Wait a minute. Is that a dun- <gasps> We found a dungeon. <laughs> we- Uh. I honestly don't know what that growl was. Um, no, I'm not kidding. That, that, uh, uh, that was, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna run away in my hat. <laughs> Toxic says, again, how about for the Yeti video, it drops the abominable armor made from its horns. A little over a week ago, I made a video about the abominable Illager. And in that video, I asked everybody exactly what they believe would be a great drop for this mob. So this idea particularly involves this mob. Oh, ho, ho! <laughs> there we go. And there you have it. That's exactly what the Abominable Illager would drop. An armor set made out of its fur and, of course, its horns. And I've got to say, I love the way it looks. But it actually does have some functionality. In Minecraft 1.17, there is powdered snow, which can actually freeze you unless you're wearing leather armor. Leather armor, though, isn't really that great for protection. So this armor does the same thing, only it actually gives you just a little bit more protection. So it's just kind of a nice plus. And I mean, I think it's quite fashionable, don't you think? Hold up, before we end today's video, all of the ideas in this video are brought to you by the members of my channel. 
If you didn't know, you can support my channel by joining the Members Club. And if you click the Join button next to the Subscribe button, you'll learn a little bit more information. Thank you for your support. I hope you enjoyed. So, made it to the end of yet again another video, have you? <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching. It really, really means a lot that you would watch all the way through. These ideas were brought to you by the Members Club, which, if you don't know, you can become a member by clicking the Join button right next to the Subscribe button. All of the ideas ended up being oddly perfect for each other. It was very funny, but very cool at the same time, and for that, I loved it. But hey, you know what you might love? I picked out two videos just for you that I think you will enjoy. If you click to the left, you can see how I code pillagers differently for minecraft and if you click to the right you can see how i coded enderman differently for minecraft <sighs> what mob should i do next <laughs> let me know in the comments below all right thanks for watching